Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. I'm Pastor Pete with your word for the day. And today's verse is from Psalm 117. And this chapter is so short that I'm going to read the entire chapter to you. Here it goes. Praise the Lord, all nations. Extol him, all people. For great is his steadfast love towards us and the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Praise the Lord. Short and sweet, isn't it? It's a beautiful call to praise for all nations. All nations should be praising the Lord, hearing God's praise in every language. What a beautiful thought. So this was written hundreds of years before Jesus gave the Great Commission to go into all the world and to make disciples. And uh, Calvary is all about that. This summer, we have people that are serving in Bulgaria, in Greece, in Zambia. Uh, we, have, we have children that we're sponsoring in Honduras. We're building homes in Mexico. Uh, we talk about the possibility of doing missions work in Japan and Mongolia. Calvary has a passion to see all nations come to know Jesus and to be able to sing his praise. And that's why we invest in international missions and international ministry. When do we get to see this come to fruition? When do we get to see this Psalm, Psalm 117, actually take place? I think we see it in Revelation. Um, Revelation chapter seven, verse nine through 12, talks about this vision of all nations praising God actually coming true. Listen to how the Apostle John describes it. Revelation 7, starting in verse 9. After this I looked, and behold, a great multitude that no one could number, from every nation, from all tribes and people and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes with palm branches in their hands and crying out with a loud voice, salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. All nations praising God, blessing his name. This is what we look forward to someday in heaven. So what does it mean for us today? What do we do today with this call to have all nations praising the Lord? Well, first of all, I think we pray. We need to be praying for um, everyone who lives to know Jesus, to come to trust Jesus, and to make Jesus their Lord. And then, of course, we can give. We can give to orphans. We can give to the Compassion Ministry. We can give to interna international projects. We can give to water wells in Africa. All of these things are ways that we proclaim and advance the mission of Jesus. And then, of course, you can go. You can go. When those opportunities for short-term trips come up, you can sign up. Um, you can pray about even your availability to invest in a long-term mission and go overseas for a while. Maybe God's calling you to use your retirement to see more nations come to know Jesus and to hear the praise of God in more languages. Hey, I hope that this encourages you with a big vision for God's world and for God to receive praise from all people. This has encouraged you today. I hope you will like it, share it, or leave a comment below. Have a great day, Calvary.